It's a 4th of July tradition for thousands of locals. Feed the Multitudes welcomes those in need and gives them something to celebrate. Jade Cunningham spoke with those in attendance and has warned why they come back year after year. There was a lot to smile about Monday. Getting some food, getting a haircut. As thousands gathered at Victory Fellowship Church in Jefferson Parish for its annual Feed the Multitudes. I am tremendously happy. It's a, it's a blessing every day, every year. For 33 years, the occasion has helped those in need by offering haircuts, food, shoes, manicures, and more at no charge. I'm just enjoying my day. I, I enjoy being around you know, people that, 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 uh, that really uh, care and, uh, and really um do so much for you. If as a community we can unite and do the little things, it's always in the little things that go a long way with America. Pastor Paris Bailey says the event gets bigger and better each year and sees it as a day where people can reset and start over. It's a day where we want to just give hope. We, we want to be able to give life and love. And what's so awesome is we come out changed more than anybody else. The event can be life changing in so many ways and those we spoke with tell us they are blessed to be a part of it. Uplifting, it's very uplifting. I have a place to go, it's a blessing to be here because I don't have nowhere to go on 4th of July. Whatever the reasons were for being there, people were thankful. They help us out, you know, they give us somewhere where we can uh, enjoy the day, you know, people that's less fortunate to have somewhere to go at. So basically, um, I just appreciate the people that uh, made it possible to be here. And they say it gave them a reason to celebrate on this day of celebration. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. About 200 people volunteered at this year's event. Pastor Bailey says they are thankful for those who came out to lend a helping hand.